In this video, I'm going to be showing you the features and how to get started with the Ninja Creamy. So let's get started. Once you've unboxed your Ninja Creamy, you'll see just how easy it is to use. If the outer bowl is locked in, simply press the release button on the left here while twisting the handle clockwise to remove it. To open the lid, press the unlock button here and twist it counterclockwise to open it. Inside you'll find the paddle and also one of the pint containers. You'll need to install the creamer riser paddle to the outer bowl lid. On the top of the lid you'll see a latch here. You'll need to slide that over and then keep it held into place while you attach the paddle on the underside of the lid. So if I just show you here you can see that there's an opening here. Pop the paddle in and then release the latch and that should secure the paddle into place. And again slide the latch over to remove the paddle. I have the 7-in-1 Creamy and it came with three pint containers a quick start guide and also a recipe guide. There are seven preset programs to choose from. Ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, gelato, milkshake and mixin. The Ninja Creamy measures 16 inches high, 12 inches in depth and six and a half inches wide. It comes with an 800 watt motor and it weighs 13 pounds, which is about six kilos. So it's unfortunately not the easiest to move around or put away in your cupboard and take out. It's something that you're going to have to leave on your counter. The base of the machine has six very small rubber feet. I'm surprised because usually ninjas come with quite powerful suction feet. But this one only has the rubber feet on it. So I'm assuming it's not going to move a lot. And also you'll be able to see the spindle area. You want to give this a good wipe and also the whole machine a good wipe just to get rid of all of that shipping and packaging and handling residue. And also remember to wash out the pint containers and the outer bowl before using them. To get yourself going, you may want to start with one of the easier programs like the sorbet. All you need to do is take any can of fruit that has juice or syrup and pour it into the pint container. I'm using peach in syrup. Push it all the way down so that it's nice and flat on top. You can make half a pint or less than half as long as it doesn't go above the maximum fill line. And then freeze this for at least 24 hours, which I think is probably the most hardest part for a lot of people, the waiting. 24 hours later and this is now ready to be churned. So remove the bowl from the machine, open the lid, pop the pint container into the outer bowl. Make sure the paddle is attached to the inside of the lid and then attach the lid to the outer bowl, locking it into place. With the handle in the middle, place the outer bowl onto the unit and twist it towards the right until it locks into place. Power on the machine and press the sorbet program button. On the top, you'll see four progress bars. Once all four of them have lit up, then the program is complete. As you get to the third and the fourth progress bars, the sound does start to die down a little. It's not as loud as the first and the second bars. And this program ran for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So once that's all done, press the release button to unlock the bowl and lower the platform. Unlock the lid. And let's take a look here. Whoa, that looks nice. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, let me just take this out. Okay, so you can see that there's a lot of peaches here on the side here. I'm not too worried about this because I can just re-spin it once I get to it. But let's scoop it all out and see. Oh, that's so smooth. Oh, that is so nice. Beautiful. Let's get it into a cup. Oh, that's so smooth. I can't believe it. Look at that. Velvety smooth. Beautiful. Look at that. And inside here, other than the peaches on the side, but it all looks great. I'm just going to taste it. Oh, that's so cold and so good. That's so good. Moving on to another very easy recipe, take any of your favourite ice cream, whether you've made it yourself or store-bought. 
I'm just going to take out four scoops of pralines and cream, pop it into the pint container and add 240 ml of milk. You can adjust the ratio depending on how thick or thin you want the milkshake. Place the container in the outer bowl, place the outer bowl onto the unit. Power on the machine and press the milkshake program. Now the thing I want to mention here is because the pralines and cream ice cream had nuts in it, and this is most likely going to happen with any uh, mixes that you put in that are hard, it'll cause the machine to vibrate a little bit, so don't worry. But you can see that the machine is wobbling quite a little bit. I was uh, a little startled first. I thought it was going to topple over, so I had to put my hand on it. But it's because of the nuts that's inside there, it's, it's um, bouncing off the spindle, so that's causing the machine to vibrate a little. So any mixes that you do put in, you may notice that the machine will wobble a little, but don't worry about it. Once it's crushed everything up, then it will stabilize. Okay, let's take a look at it. Unlock the lid. And oh, that looks good. Let's pour it out into a glass here. Oh, that looks pretty good. And the consistency is okay. I mean, you can have it thicker if you want, but I think that's perfect for me. Oh yeah, perfect milkshake. Got a bit of texture in there as well from the nuts. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. This is just some basics to get you started with the Ninja machine. I do hope to make some more videos. If you do want to watch those, please do subscribe. If you did find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I hope to catch you in my next video.